真的没有好人。Access granted.
or just another glitch in the system. This is Eliza Cassandra. No problem. Send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Could be. What's it to you? When a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology, and I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? Not exactly. I'm here on behalf of someone who wants you to understand reason. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. 
Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Okay, so you didn't agree with your boss. Doesn't mean you have a right to go about killing people. Just because you feel like it, I won't let you. What makes you think you could stop me? You might hurt some of us, but in the end, my men and I will win. If you make us fight. Fair enough. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the U.S. when I first got into the Army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the U.S. anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The U.S. military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Once again, nice story, but none of it justifies what you've done. Right now, I'm giving you a chance to do the right thing and turn yourself in. I'm afraid I can't do that, Jensen. I respect you for coming here and doing what you think is right. But you gotta understand I'm trying to do the same thing. Really? Okay then. Why don't we skip ahead to when things turn sour? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later. Seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the U.S. government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't have to the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government, and I was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral. And at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand.
Dr. Wing said our situations would resonate. I don't think he realized it might go both ways. Some men deserve the justice we bring on them. Do what you have to do, Zelazny. I won't get in your way. I appreciate it. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. I killed. And these men I'm going to kill. Names. Families. Their people. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me. Taunt me. Till I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this... They deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. Hey, Jensen. The Lasny here. So, Lasny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got them to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it. Disruptions has been linked to a major malfunction in the multi-channel.